everyone! Welcome to Clickly! From now on, we will enter the magical world of Clickly and enjoy the fun of creation! First, let's start with the editor interface. On the launch page, we can directly open a project we recently made. Or, add a new blank project. Now, let's create a new blank project. First, we need to set the game name and the save path. Then, we can choose a map size based on our needs. These are the default terrain textures. We can import and add up to 32 textures later in Texture Management. We can also replay the texture later. Now, click on Create to confirm and we will come to the main interface of Clickly. The main interface of Clickly includes several sections. The interface in the middle is the Editor workspace. We will design the game scene in this area. You can scroll the mouse wheel to change the viewing distance of the main perspective. Press and hold the right mouse button to move the terrain freely and view all the corners of the game. Hold down Ctrl and the right mouse button, we can move the mouse to rotate the scene. At the top is the menu bar. We can manage, publish and set properties of the game. The navigation bar below presents the entrance to several important modules. Object Editor, Trigger, UI Editor, and Resource Manager. Object Editor is about editing and managing units, items, abilities, projectiles, destructibles, and tech in the game. In Object Editor, we can create a new hero, change the name of a unit, or change the attack power of a unit. Trigger is the birthplace of all game logic. And the logic that controls all the game effects is written through the triggers, such as Repopulation, Character Upgrade Rewards, etc. UI Editor is used to edit human-computer interaction and interface aesthetics in general. In Resource Manager, we can view and manage all the map resources and import local resource files. Then, on the right side of the interface is the two palette. We can quickly edit the terrain, draw mountains and rivers, and place objects in the scene, such as game characters, buildings, decorations, etc. Select the object you want to place. The mouse will enter the state of placing objects. Click the left mouse button on the ground to place an object. If you want to place a large number of objects, you can long press the left mouse button and drag. The objects can be deselected by pressing Ask. Select a part of the units in a box and press the Delete key on the keyboard to delete all of them. There are different types of objects in the editor. When selecting an object that we place on a map, the Edit Attributes column will appear on the right side. Scroll down and you see what attributes can be changed here. The left toolbar displays the preview of objects. In placed objects, all elements of the current map are presented in a folder like format. Click the view button next to the minimap to call up the terrain editor view box. We can quickly switch the perspective, add removed grid lines, hide show the contents placed on the map to facilitate the editing. Here's a tip for you. The category that being selected in the current tool panel cannot be hidden. Lastly, we can click the button in the upper left corner to run the current game. When enter the test status, the game will start to run according to the set logic. Select the character, click the mouse, the character can walk freely in the game. When the game is running, we can press Ctrl F9 to exit the test and return to the editing interface. When the game is finished, you can click Publish to publish the game to the platform. Now it's time for a quick recap. We learn about the interface of Clickly, the placement of objects, how to test the map, and how to publish the game. Next class, we will learn how to draw the terrain. See you next time!